It's 2022 and you want to start developing for SharePoint and Teams, but you don't know where to start. Here's my top five recommendations. My name's Rob and I started developing for SharePoint almost 20 years ago. Back then, the only content really available was a little bit online, mostly in rather expensive books. Fast forward to 2022 and there's so much available to us now. But where do I start? These are my top five most regularly used resources for developing in SharePoint. I'll put all the links below so you can discover them for yourselves too. And stay posted for a bonus at the end. Let's dive straight in. So number one is Microsoft. This is the place to go for up-to-date information about SPFX. It's regularly updated, it's full of examples, it can take you from zero to hero. But although the information is excellent, it is sometimes difficult to know where to start. More on that in a short while. Number two is the community channel. And don't we need a community in 2022? The Microsoft Developer Community has an excellent site where you can search for answers, ask for questions and get involved. They also provide an awesome YouTube channel full of great content for getting started through to really advanced topics. But if you want to start at the very beginning, stick around, I'll get to that in a moment. The third resource is the blog posts of Elio Stroff. Sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong. He's an absolute legend in the community, often deep diving into the more technical aspects of the framework. If you're a developer looking to go beyond the basics, his blog is highly recommended. The fourth recommended one is Voitanus. This is the site uh, for Andrew Connell who in the industry is really quite a guru when it comes to SPFX. Andrew is the go-to SharePoint framework guy. His site offers a free beginner's course as well as more advanced paid content to master the framework, an email course, and a regular blog that he updates. In fact, if you want to pass the Microsoft exams, Andrew is the go-to guy. And then the last resource I use, well, is my own site, Robert's Dev Talk. Uh, what I do is I often look at some of my previous videos and the code that we've developed uh, as a reference to go back to when I need to develop uh, for the SharePoint framework. Every month we release new videos taking the developer from zero to hero and currently we've over 25 videos all to help the beginner developer with the SharePoint framework. So those are my top five. Microsoft site, the 365 community, Elio Stroff, apologies again, Andrew Connell with his Voitana site, and our site, Robert's Dev Talk. And now for the bonus. As I release new videos in 2022, we're going to make the source code completely available for free up on GitHub. So keep an eye out for that when we release our next video uh, demonstrating how to develop in the SharePoint framework. So I hope you found those top five useful. I'm sure you can think of others. If you do, please put them in the comments below and let everybody else know where to uh, look for such resources. That'd be a great help. And if you haven't done already, please click subscribe and the like icon. We really appreciate your support. Keep posted in 2022. Keep an eye out for some uh, new videos we're producing. I'll see you next time. If you've enjoyed this video, then please do give us a like. And if you like this kind of content, then do make sure you subscribe and ring that bell icon so you never miss out on a video. And if you want to join us on our developer journey, see the link below. And if you're feeling generous, buy us a coffee. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for your time. Happy coding. We'll see you next time.